What is up ladies and gentlemen, in this video I will be talking about my review on Thief, the Xbox One version of the copy, the Xbox One copy of the game Thief for the Xbox One. So without further ado, let's get the video started and I will see you guys next time. Here we go. Cause I'm going, I was too scared to start and now I'm too scared to let go. Take me as I am, cause I'm growing but it's so hard to tell when... How's it going everybody, it's 3 Hello Gamer and I am here with my review on um, where did I leave it? I think it's still in the closet actually. There it is. I completely forgot to take the game out. I got everything set up and everything, but I got I forgot to take the game out. That's so like me, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So once again, you know who it is, and I wanted to make this quick review on the game Thief. As you can see right here, Thief. Here's the back of it. And the side of it. So, th this game has a bunch of different uh, aspects to it, and I really don't know where to start, so I'm just going to start off with the main thing, which is the storyline. A beautiful storyline, an amazing free roam, borderlandish kind of free roam, an amazing game overall. I It's not rated very high, but uh, if you want some time to yourself, if you want some single player time, and you don't want to deal with those multiplayer people, or maybe you just don't have Xbox Live, this is one of the games you want to pick up right here, Thief, because it's all single player. The stop listening. I, I don't I don't I don't know why I don't know why it it disobeys me like I, I I tell it not to and uh, it does that. I slap it every now and then because it won't understand. So if you will please excuse me while I yeah let me look for the profile. This is basically my background, where I basically give out shoutouts to people, where they'll show up on my video. Okay, so back to Thief. An amazing game, and I don't know where I left off because this thing over here started to mess up on me again. It picked up the word Xbox. So, Okay, so Thief, an amazing storyline, Borderlands kind of free roam, where like, if you enter an area, you could explore the free roam in it, but eventually you'll hit a specific part. In, while you're traveling, will it'll just cut off, give you a little loading screen with the little tips like mostly every other game. So it's gonna load up and it's gonna load up all the graphics that are in that area, and you'll get to explore that other big area in the game. One of the things that I did not like about the storyline, which is basically all it has, is how depressing it is. It's always so dark, and that's what Thief is supposed to be. I've seen the other games before. Uh, Thief is supposed to be dark, but like it's super depressing. I mean all the civilians always have something going on There's always problems with the civilians and the guards. They're never having a good day It's always depressing it. There were times where I just wanted to put the game down and play some Call of Duty or play Titanfall And I just couldn't because I had to beat the game up. I, I have this dedication towards the game So I just have to beat most of them <laughs> And uh, I like the achievements in this game, by the way. So, super depro super depressing, at least for me. I don't know about you guys. But it was super dep depressing for me, and I didn't want to play it sometimes. Now, although it is depressing, and although it is dark, it's the beautiful kind of dark. Like, like not the crappy. Like, I don't know if you know what I mean. It's just beautiful. The environments are amazing. The clock tower especially. The different gadgets that they give you in the game. Uh, you play as Garrett, which is a master thief. You could basically walk up to someone and steal their earrings without them even noticing. That's how you know you're a professional thief. That's how you know you are a pro at what you do. So, Thief is a, an amazing game. It does not have multiplayer, like I said earlier. Uh, what it does have is the leaderboards kind of multiplayer, where you'll kind of like enter a house and th the objective will be like steal this much stuff faster than someone on your friends list. Or steal stuff, the more stuff you get, the more time will be added so you could steal more stuff. Or whatever you steal, it's worth more. And at the end of the match, we'll see who picked up the more stuff. And it will put you on the leaderboards on top of your friends and everything. That's basically the only multiplayer it has. But multiplayer is multiplayer. Uh, now, this copy right here, I got it. I did not get it from GameStop. Like most of my games in that cabinet over there. I got this from Walmart. Now the cool thing that I, I don't know if they do this everywhere, but when I got this in Walmart, I got the the Bank Heist, which is one of the two DLCs I believe. At the current time they have two DLCs. One of them is the Bank Heist, 
and I did get that. I have not played it yet. I can't say that I've tried to look for the bank, but I have not played the bank heist yet. I do look forward to playing it and try to beat it on the highest difficulty, but I have not found the bank heist. Um, so yeah, I got this from Walmart, got the bank heist, DLC, and everything. Now, one of the things that I did like about this game is basically, well, there is the environment and the storyline, but there's also where you, where you walk around as a master thief and you have all these different gadgets to choose from from your primary weapon which is basically a bow and arrow they have so many different types of arrows and they have merchants that will sell you this kind of stuff like they'll have uh, blunt arrows which are not that expensive but they don't do damage at all they'll hit enemies but they won't do damage it's basically so if you can't reach that side of the wall because there's an enemy and it will spot you you basically shoot the little blunt arrow and it'll turn off the light switch for you. Look, you'll hit the light switch and it'll turn off without having to walk towards the light and into the other side of the room. So, so many gadgets in this uh, rope arrows, a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, depressing, like I said before. They do have side missions, and I only found one of them and I completed it because it turns out these are characters that give you side missions. It's not where you look like on a bulletin board and they'll give you side missions, it's not like that. So I only found one side mission and I completed it, but that's how you know they have side missions in the game. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, just, uh, oh, it's a slow game. Not slow, like you'll just, you can't rush through it. You're not supposed to rush through this game. It's one of those games like the previous Thieves where you'll have to take your time and think about how you want to complete the mission or think about the best way to complete your mission to get rewarded with even more money. So there's a lot of, every single mission in the game has different ways to complete it. You could go and kill everybody, make it easier for you, get spotted if you want, as long as you take out the enemies and don't die. <clears throat> or they'll have like extra, extra challenges. Completing the challenges will get you more money and you could spend all that money on more gadgets. Now back to the gadgets, they do have some gadgets that will help you out on collectibles. There's these picture frames that you could rip off, like tear off with a knife. And you'll get to keep the picture frame and keep it on your hideout, which is the clock tower. They'll have the screw to take off metal memorial plates. And you'll get to collect those. I think there's 18 in total. I'm not sure. I have like 15. I'm pretty close. Uh, but I do want to go back to this game. And back to the uh, missions. The more challenges you complete, <clears throat> the more you'll get rewarded. And most of them are basically, you're a thief. You're not a murderer. So you're not supposed to kill people. You're supposed to steal things. So don't get spotted, try not to kill anybody, and if you have to, at least knock him out, don't kill him. So you'll get rewarded for that kind of stuff and it will rate you, are you a ghost, a killer, that kind of stuff. So a good challenge mode kind of there, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's basically all there is to this game. An amazing game, remember if you want to stay on the single player side or maybe you want to take, uh, take a break from multiplayer, or maybe you're out of town and you brought your Xbox with you and you don't have internet, pick up Thief, play it while you have your free time, and enjoy some depressing moments with Thief. That's basically it. Remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and look forward to more videos like this one, where you'll get to see me review Xbox One games on this channel, and I'll always have someone else's background back there. So, today, shout out to Lone Wolf 671 an amazing guy, I met the guy earlier in, in Extinction, and an amazing dude. He's a, a, a great player. Yeah, he came up with some great ideas. We were talking, we ran into him, started talking about some ideas for extinction, like <clears throat> getting powers with the hip donut, that kind of stuff. So shout out to that guy. If you're watching this video, you're an amazing dude. And hopefully we'll play some more extinction later on in the future as the DLCs come out for Call of Duty Ghosts. And that's basically it. I'll see you guys later on the battlefield. See ya.